Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a web and graphics specialist, and today I'm going to show you how to create a shadow border using CSS. So right now I have three files opened up on my computer. I have Firefox that is displaying my local HTML file that I have here opened up in a text editor, along with an external CSS file, which is just another file in my text editor. Okay, so I have this div here that has this box shadow around it. Um, if you're used to fo Photoshop or something like that, you could also refer to this as a drop shadow. Um, but in HTML and CSS terms, it's called a box shadow. Uh, so I have this div with a class of my div. I'm going to create a second div called my div2 so I can demonstrate how to create a drop shadow. So in my HTML, I create div with a class my div2. And I'll close that div. And then I'm just going to copy all these rules here in my CSS to duplicate that and just make sure it says my div2 and I'll push it to the right so that you can see both divs okay there we go so now we have this div down here um, and I'm going to make some adjustments to this shadow so that you can see the options you have when you're creating the rules for your box shadow um, you can use the standard new CSS3 rule of just box-shadow. Um, you don't want to use that alone because CSS3 rules do not work for all browsers yet. They will one day. Um, so we have applied some, some browser-specific rules. We have the WebKit rule, which works for WebKit browsers like Safari. And we have the Mozilla box-shadow rule, which works for Mozilla. OK, so when you're creating a box-shadow, you have several options. Um, the first two uh, parameters for this are offset. So uh, if you want to push the shadow up five pixels, you would set it to negative five pixels. And if you want to push it to the left five pixels, you would set negative five pixels for the next parameter. Um, that's how you would create a drop shadow. The third parameter is for blur. Uh, I can set my blur to zero, and then it wouldn't look like a shadow at all. It would just look like another box behind my original div. Uh, let me just set that for all these. There you go, now it just looks like a box. Um, and the fourth parameter you can set in there is for spread. You can move that uh, shadow out a little bit. So let's say I want to move it five pixels. And then it spreads out a little farther. And then the last parameter is the color. You can change the color to whatever you want. Uh, you can even change it to uh, like a, a purple. Uh, basically, whatever you need, uh, those are all your parameters. If you want to look this up, you can go to the W3Schools website for all the parameters listed out. Uh, but it's actually pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. And that's it. That is how you create a box shadow or shadow borders using CSS. My name is Brian, and thanks for watching.